hey guys welcome back so today i am gonna be potting up some herbs now about a day or two ago well what is it two days ago so two days ago i actually harvest a lot of herbs and take it downstairs in my kitchen for it to just sit and dry so i can have a lot of good herbs to use over the holidays basically to take me through um the rest of the year into next year but i also would like to have a few fresh herbs in pots whereby if i want it a little bit fresh i can just clip from it and let it continue to grow now in this raised box here i do have a lot of um fresh herbs and you can see that it's kind of like dying back only because we're getting a lot of cooler days like this entire week is in the 60s so i think this like 68 or so is the highest you know so and then again because i clip a lot of herbs it it haven't bounced back you know yet because it haven't had enough um warm um extreme warm temperatures to bounce back as fast so although some of the herbs are perennial and i can leave them outdoors i do want to have some indoors so if i need fresh herbs i can just cut you know i don't want to have to keep running out here to grab herbs you know if you can take it inside why not you know so that's my goal today to put some of these herbs in um pots and take them inside so i do have over here right over here on this table i have a few pots it's the nursery pots um that i bought plant in and so i'm gonna take these pots and put the herbs in it i have some potting soil uh some potting soil right here. I got my um, my knife. What do they call it? Ori Ori? One of those knives <laughs> with the jagged edge. And I got my gloves and some scissors and stuff. Just in case I need to like clip the root ball or clip off dead leaves or stuff like that. So that's, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to pot this up. And see if we're going to go from there.
spring is when I planted this herb box. And I mentioned that I normally put um, mint in a pot like this to just to contain it a little. This is what happened. So although it was in this pot, the root came out of the pot and this is what happened. So when I kind of scratch it, the soil is falling because there is, um, it's not like root brown. So when I shake it, the soil is loosen up, but look how much root came out of this pot. See that? So what I'm going to do is cut this back some and just plant a little piece back into this pot just so next year I can um, have mint to plant it again versus going and buy or or planting it from seed so that's what I'm gonna do I'm also gonna take the few strawberries and put it in the ground Okay, so these are the pots that I put the herbs in. It's on my patio now, and what I did was just um, put them in some trays and fertilize them. Now, in the beginning or late spring, when I plant these up in the raised box, I didn't fertilize them. So what I did is fertilize them now. Now that I've put them in the pot, I just uh, put a little bit of fertilizer uh, plant food in the water and just um, water them with that so it's gonna drain out nicely and then I'm gonna keep up well I'm gonna try my best to keep up with some of these now some of them I just got like this mint I just took out two strands of mint and planted here then I got lavender over here it's just a little piece survived um, through the, the, I got to say, the summer because I was cutting on it a lot. So this piece looked pretty strong. So I decided, you know what, I was going to cut the root ball a little bit, make it a little smaller, and just plant that up. So that's what I did. Over here, I have a little bit of green onion. Normally, this sprout back pretty good when the place is getting cool. So... I put a little bit in the pot um, so that I can continuously keep using that. And that's going to keep going and coming as I cut on it. It's going to keep growing. So this I'm never really too worried about. Unless I, I forget to give it water or something like that. I have the rosemary which is over here. I can continue to cut on that as well. And this is a perennial plant. So I have it outside and I have it inside. So if I finish what I use in inside, I can always come outside and cut some. Although I really don't want to do that because it's going to be really cold. And me and the cold does not get along. Then I have over here some thyme. Now I am going to cut on this thyme, fresh thyme, a lot. Only because... If you notice, it's it's trailing, it's hanging. So I'm going to be cutting on that pretty often. I'm not worried about it hanging right now because I'm going to be able to um, limit up while cutting on it. And then over here, I have the basil. This is sweet basil. This possibly have to really catch itself because it was kind of like it's 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 done its job and it's just fizzling out so 
I hopefully the little bit of fertilizer and the little bit of sunlight is gonna help these to, to do what they need to do now over here I do have some strawberries um, ooh, a spider yeah I put strawberries in a pot right here and I'm gonna keep this here for a little while I do have some I, I planted I think like two more that I put in my vegetable garden I don't remember if strawberries are a perennial or not will it grow in the coal I'm not sure so I left two out in the garden and these two um, once it gets a little bit too cold I'm gonna put it in my greenhouse because that's gonna hold really hold some heat during the day and at night it's gonna get a little cooler so until it really give us a hard freeze so that's what I'm gonna do with this because it's still bearing the tag says ever bearing so let's see what happens these are all I've never done this before so this is basically an experiment for me I have done it um, with the herbs and herbs work out pretty good for me in the house as long as I remember to give it water so yeah over here I'm trying to empty this raised box because what happened there's a lot of roots that over time planting there's a lot of root at the bottom of this box so I'm really trying to enter um, completely empty it line it again and then put in back really good soil clean soil again normally in this raised box I use uh, potting soil only because whatever I put in here I really want it to do its its true best I don't put um, raised bed mix in it I just used the potty mix so over time I had um, a lot of good soil in here and I never really changed it out so now I'm actually gonna change it out and line it back and everything um, I do have the soil that I keep taking out it's right here now this is nice and loose I'm still gonna use it what I'm gonna do since this box is so big um, there's about a four foot I believe yeah, I think this is possibly about four foot, I think. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the box up back and then put fresh soil or fresh compost to the top. Um, I'd rather put the um, potty mix only because... So, okay, so here's the plan. <laughs> I really wanted to save all this information for when I'm actually doing it. I can explain what I'm doing but here is the plan the plan for this box is to put it in um, in my hobby greenhouse and then during the winter when I want to start my seedlings I was started inside and once it gets to a little um, once the seedlings get to a little um, give a little growth and stuff and it's hardened out enough I would put it in this raised bed with a heating cable and see how well it would grow in this red box in this raised box sorry I said red box anyway I don't know how good of a idea it is or not but I really want to experiment and see this box is pretty deep it's about what two maybe like two foot deep I think so or maybe like a foot and a half deep something like that so I figure if I put regular um if I put the potty mix and put like the perlite and stuff to really loosen the soil maybe I could put some seeds in here with a heating cable and only time is gonna tell but I really want to give it a shot and see how it goes see you see what happens anyway I'm gonna continue to empty this but I'm empty it off camera because it's taken a bit too long then I'm gonna line it and possibly see if I can put it in the greenhouse myself before I start uh, putting back the soil in it um, but let me see how that goes because today I would like to um, I would like to harvest some of this stuff again like harvest um, well not again because I just harvest herbs the herbs to take inside but I would like to harvest some of this and take it inside because um, the arugula um, some of it is starting to go to seed I don't want that um, 
and the pak choy I can really do with that inside as well so yeah okay so this is inside my greenhouse I was able to get the box in here it is empty what I'm gonna do is put plastic back in the bottom and then I'm gonna use this um, uh, what is it wheat fabric and I'm gonna put it all over in there before I put soil back in there and then um, I'm gonna mix a little bit of uh, the perlite inside this box now it's not that cold yet it's it's just chilly we have very chilly weather so it's not cold but just to test in this greenhouse because of I, I haven't like over winter um, any plants in here like that so just to test it out a little bit what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put the soil and everything in this box and then I'm gonna put like maybe two or three kales in this box to see what happens and I'm also gonna put um, one of these volunteer I have tomatoes that volunteer in this bed I believe at um, one point I had a tomato plant in here so some of the tomatoes probably pop and so tomato plants came up so what I'm gonna do is dig one out and I'm gonna use a few um, of the red Russian kale from over here and literally just put it in here and see what happens make sure it's getting enough water and everything just to see if in here is getting enough oxygen is it too hot in here what what the deal is so i'll be able to test this out till about maybe if the plants doesn't die off i might be able to test it until like december or january to see what happens because by december and january it's going to be cold so in this greenhouse holds the heat during the day and um, at night it gets cold so it's not really a greenhouse it's just like a um what do they call it um i forgot what they call it it this basically when you bought this called a hobby greenhouse so it's not really i don't see it really for wintering over stuff but i don't know so i mean i'm just basically guessing with words right now i don't know how this is gonna work out for me because i've never really done that when i first bought this greenhouse was basically to put all my stuff and to have a greenhouse so that when i buy plants earlier within the year before the place warm up i am able to put it in here and so far it's been working phenomenally well so but i want to do like the overwinter and see what happens just see what happens okay i think i'm i'm making this video too long just by talking so let's just get into okay, it okay that's it i am finished i filled it up back with the soil um i did put the fabric you can see the fabric at the top here i put a plastic directly at the bottom and then i put the um fabric and then i fill it up back with the soil and on the top of it like um i use one bag of potting mix and I put it in here and then I add um, some plant tone and uh, 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 what's called what is it called uh, perlite uh, just for a little um, better drainage um, and that's the little white stuff that you're seeing in there so I kind of make it as the soil as loose as possible and healthy as possible to see how this is gonna perform for me so i did put two tomatoes um i think these are cherry tomatoes but i i'm not sure if this is the one that gets really tall and starts to run or if it's the um the mini like the miniature the ones that just get a like two feet or a foot and a half or something like that it might be the ones that gets like a foot and a half I honestly don't remember the name of the tomatoes because I bought it from the store and the tags is not there so I don't know the name but I want to believe is the mini um, the mini tomatoes that grows like a foot and a half or something like that um, and then I put a few red Russian kale 
just to see how I do. I'm just curious to see how this do. So if it doesn't grow, if it die back or so, then I know that um that maybe I can put the plants in here or maybe I could give it a shot with something else or I got to wait until, you know, it's not cold or not too warm, something like that. It gives me an idea. So I just wanted to try it and see. I'm going to keep you guys updated on how it's doing, but I really, really want to try this out. The curiosity kills the cat, but I'm very curious to see how this is going to work out for me. Anyway, so I am losing light now, so I know that I have to end this video. I wanted to go outside and harvest a few things, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen today. So um, I'm going to close this video here. I hope you guys um, get a chance to do something amazing, something beautiful. And I will catch you all in my next video. I was very happy to do this experiment. So I hope it worked. Ah!